Well, greetings to you. I'm Pastor David, and I'm speaking to um, Pray New Zealand as well as to Change Point Church. I want to just bring a devotional to you out of a passage that has been very important to me over this time frame that we've been in this lockdown. This is my sixth week of being here at, at this house and to um, in this lockdown situation. And, and so I want to work with you in a passage that I've been working with and the Holy Spirit in my own personal life and devotion. And I'm speaking about Romans chapter 13, verse 11 through 14. I want to give some context to it and pull out of here five things that I think are very important for us that could be very applicable to the time and moment that we're in right now. And uh, I want to take the phrase out of verse 11. So let me read verses 11 through 14 to us, which says, Besides this, you know the time, that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the work of darkness, works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, and not in quarreling and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. I want to work with this phrase, knowing the time. Now this context that Paul was writing to the church at Rome it's interesting because Rome, Romans is the most doctrinal and theological. It's probably one of the apex of his writings, an incredible written statement of faith and, and devoted faith and such of that nature. And then there comes this exhortation. In light of this, knowing the time, and of course the time was like around late 80, 55, 56, maybe early 57. So about an 18-month period of time, the possibilities of when this letter was written was an incredible change. Dare I say a change point where the situation was there was a change in the leadership and the governance of Rome and, and various things. So it was a confusing time. And it was confusing for Jews and for Christians because as Nero came to power, it seemed that, that he was giving favor, and of course later on he turned, and he turned against, strongly against Christians and Jews. And so it was a difficult time, it was a confusing moment, and it was a situation where Paul says that it was an opportune time to do some things differently than had been before this time arrived. And of course the word, the word time is kairos, which could be translated opportune or opportunity. And so he says, knowing the time, the word knowing means to consider or perceive. In other words, to consider this as an opportune moment of time to do some things. And so the first thing he says, it's time to awaken from sleep or for slumber. And the implications here is that it's, a, it's time to awaken from a moral sleepiness. This is not a neutral time. Of course, there is no such thing as neutral and so he would say it's time to wake up to the type of morality and moral values that Christ has established in his kingdom, to awaken to that, to awake from sleep. And the second thing he says, it's time to cast off the works of darkness. Friends, all of us have areas where we're having to deal with compromise, things that we have let slip or slide and have perhaps in this time before this where it was a little easier, whatever like that, defining it where we would have made some, some compromising choices that have come about in certain lifestyles. And this is an opportune moment of time to address those things and to cast them off. And the word cast off is a violent action. It's not just a nice little tuck aside, but it is a throw off to actually renounce an affiliation or connection with works of darkness. And the third thing he says, it's time to put on. It's time to put on armor of light. Well, the word armor speaks about weaponry. And the weaponry specifically is designed to work with our faith. Faith is an action word, and it is a word that we take and we act upon. 
We act upon it in spoken word, but we also activate it in terms of our actions and how we treat our attitude, various things. So he said it's time to become fully identified with the light. And he writes the word armor, saying there's weaponry that's available. So I would encourage you to go to passages like Ephesians chapter 6 and study out what is the weaponry, what is the armor that God has provided us that he wants us to put on. And then the fourth thing in this passage, he says it's time to address our walk, to walk properly, as in the day, not in the night season. And so there are three things that he addresses here in various ways, and it's actually defined incredibly well in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, where John writes where he says that all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life. It's that threefold cord of sinful pattern that's resident within this world, this world system, that Paul is addressing and saying, you're in Rome, you're in the epitome and, and the place of headquarters of the Roman world, and you have an opportune time to absolutely address this, these threefold things in your own personal walk in life and to walk differently. That whatever you were, way, were walking before, he says, this is an opportune time to change the way you walk in this world. And then the last thing is that it's time to put on. And here he says, to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And in this passage, he uses the full name. It's Lord Jesus Christ. The Lordship is his title. It's his, it's his absolute lofty position. He's Lord. Second thing is Jesus. It's the name for his humanity, how he's identified with us. He is Jesus. But Christ, and that's his office, that's his ministry portfolio. That's his anointing. And so he's saying it's time to put on the fullness of Jesus Christ. Not a pick and choose the things we like, but to embrace the full package of the person. It's time to focus fully on Jesus. If there is any one thing that we, the church of New Zealand, Aotearoa, here in Tauranga, wherever we may find ourselves, it's time to focus fully on Jesus, his work, his mission, his purposes, his plans. So to close this little message off, which I pray will be a tool for you that perhaps you can take devotionally and work your way through these things as I've been doing that myself, is that I see three words. First of all is the word awaken. It's, it's time to awake up to certain things that God wants us to walk in. Secondly, abandon. It's time for us to abandon certain things that are practices that weigh us down. The things that, that actually hinder us from running this race of endurance that God has called us to abandon certain things and for us to abdicate the leadership of our lives fully and completely to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I trust and pray that this little message here will be useful to you, that you'll take it, use it devotionally as an outline to work your way through prayerfully, perhaps of some things that here in this passage, knowing the opportune time that we're in right now to make some incredible changes. Let me pray for you. God, I pray in the name of Jesus for every person who will hear this message that God, you would totally strengthen them. The Holy Spirit will help each and every one of us as believers in Jesus Christ to truly awaken, to cast off and renounce certain things, to put on the armor of light, to address things in our walk, and to put on, like clothing, the Lord Jesus Christ. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.